Hey, what's up, YouTube? Welcome to Quick Tech Solutions. Today, on Tips and Reviews, we're going to walk through the process of upgrading my cloud based Unify controller to version 5.4.11. Stay tuned. All right, guys, before we get to the actual upgrade process, I thought it would be pretty cool to check out and show you the actual blog post regarding the stable release of Unify version 5.4.11. Now, if you're a Ubiquity enthusiast as I am and you haven't already subscribed to the community forum, you might want to check it out at community.ubnt.com. There are a lot of great people out there that have a lot of answers and there's a lot of good information. So again, community.ubnt.com. Make sure you check it out and subscribe. Now, each time Ubiquity releases a new version of its Unify software, they post a press release. The format for the press release pages are the same for each release. They have best practices. Basically, here it tells you make sure you do a backup before you perform any upgrade. They give you lots of release notes. They show you the fixes and changes from the recent versions, as well as the firmware changes, links to the bundled firmware, and links to the software if you want to perform this upgrade manually. The key thing with these press release pages is to focus in right here on the changes from the recent version of the controller. So let's take a look and see what changes and what they might have added to version 5.4.11 before we um, actually do the upgrade. So it looks like they've added Migrate Site Expert Site Wizard. They've added support for concurrent layer 3 device adoption. It says here that they've improved dates and statistics pages, fixed slow database backup, fixed the radius profile migration issue, fixed database migration issue that, causing, that caused the controller not to start after upgrading, and it looks like they've added uh, support for 10 gig ports. So there you go, guys. Here's the press release. Again, check it out at community.ubnt.com. Now let's get on with the upgrade. So I'm here at my wireless controllers login page, and you can see I'm currently running Unify version 5.4.9. If all goes well with the upgrade process, after all is said and done, this should say version 5.4.11. I'm going to log into the controller, create a backup of its current configuration, then log out of the controller. Once I'm logged out, I'm going to access the controller again via SSH to perform the upgrade process. That being said, remember this is a cloud-based controller that is running on Amazon Web Services. So let's begin by logging in and creating the backup. Okay, now that we're logged into the controller and we're looking at the dashboard, Move over to the lower left hand corner of the screen. Look for the gear icon, which is actually the settings icon. Let's click on settings. Click on maintenance next. Look on the maintenance page. Look for backup and locate the blue download backup button. Leave the duration set to seven days. That's fine. I'm going to go ahead and create the backup now. And you can see in the lower left hand corner version 5.4.9.unf has been created. So now I'm going to go ahead and log out of the controller and into SSH via the terminal app on my Mac to perform the upgrade process. Now for the purpose of saving time on this video, I'm already logged in to SSH. So I'm going to perform the update process by the first command is sudo dot apt get update and this goes out and looks for all of the updates and processes the packages once that's done to install the unify controller it's sudo apt get install unify and the process has begun. Now it's asking if we have a backup and of course we're all going to have our backup done at this point so I'm going to say yes. And now it's continuing with the installation. And there you have it. It seems to have completed. So now let's quit the terminal and let's come up and refresh the page and see if we're at version 5.4.11. And there you have it guys, Unify version 5.4.11. Let's log in and just see if everything looks okay.
Okay, I'm at my dashboard. I have my one active LAN device, my three active WAN devices. Everything looks good. So there you go, guys. Quick and simple upgrade of a cloud controller to version 5.4.11. If you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe to my channel if you'd like to see more content of this nature. My name is Tony with Quick Tech Solutions. Thanks for watching and see you next time.